from all this shit in the past or well, six months fuck it's been a shit year in terms of all the shit that's been going on but the good takeaway is that um we're all not alone and the fact that we can all band together and be as one in periods of crisis in periods of injustice a lot of other shit like that it's fucking cool to see and and I would always worry about on the point of like people you know saying shit to me like I would always worry about that and now it's almost like I don't really care if people have a negative sort of thought about me as well because I'd always try so hard to try and be well liked by everyone right but you can be the nicest person but there's always going to be people that don't fucking like you just cause so you know I've got I've got a great life I've got you know great friends around me uh, I've got a great job so, so you, you're trying to find the good yeah something you can the good you have expressing gratitude towards that yeah so you don't have to focus on what you don't have exactly I don't not have a lot of like I don't have a ton of shit which I wish I had like I've pretty much got a lot of great things in my life so oh sorry yeah no no that's fine um yeah I've got a I've got a lot to be thankful for so yeah yeah and, and it re- you've really put in I felt it just about half a week ago I felt it when you know these in Minneapolis these these riots and it just started bubbling up and then it just exploded and then that happened in California and and um New York, East Coast, West Coast, Minneapolis, here, there. I'm like, Washington. The fu- when I saw, when I saw that in Washington with the riots happening outside of the White House. That's fucking yeah. You know they're they're trying to make as much noise, make sure you know those politicians and everybody in that house can can hear that they're not going down without a fight. Those fat cats in yeah. fucking the White House. Yeah, yeah. they're coming after it. Yeah. And I'm like, there is. Buildings are on fire. Like, towns are on fire. They're not... Like, the, the first thing Minneapolis did, I think it was Minneapolis, is, like, they... They didn't send the police. They basically left the town... Yeah. ...to the people. <laughs> and so, there was no police to be seen. There was looting, fuck, riots. There was burning of buildings, burning of cars. And this happened all over... is happening all over America. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, man... That's terrible for them and terrible for the people involved. But it's just an opportunity to, like, look outside. None of that is happening right here where we are. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like, it could be a lot worse. You, this, this building we're in, this is a business, right? There have been, I would estimate, dozens, maybe hundreds of people's businesses who already struggling from the pandemic who have had their business broken into looted or burnt down because of this situation and they come to their store the next day and everything they worked for for years and years and years is gone and now they have to figure out a way to get their shit together to rebuild or to just give up hope entirely and that like i saw this one video of the of this african-american gentleman who uh he, he made that comment. I worked all my life for this. I, I and now it's and it's gone. And it's like his why why does why is he getting why does he bear the consequences for someone else's actions that had nothing to do with him? Why does he no longer get to have his business and feed his family and have his livelihood anymore? well it's just how they acted in America it was just a mob mentality and I think if you're gonna leave the decisions to the people and you're alright well guys you fend for yourselves you do the you know we're not we're not bringing the police in yeah what do you reckon people are gonna do oh yeah cool we're just gonna sit here right they're gonna they're gonna fucking go nuts of course they had they had so 